Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to do the new arrival video for October 9th, 2020. There is a massive amount of new arrivals and restocks, tons of audiophile stuff this week, and even a few CDs, which I don't carry many of, but there's a few CDs here as well. Don't forget all this stuff can be purchased online on our website at www.theingroove.com. A few things, the wonderful sounds of male vocals should be in this Thursday, the day of this video. I'll either have it on the website or I have it on the website as a pre-order. Either way, it'll be shipping Thursday. Let's see, the Black Sabbath Paranoid Deluxe box set will be in today as well, a little bit later on. I just don't have it yet. But uh, yeah, that's the quadraphonic mix, the stereo mix, and there is a couple of concerts on there. It came out originally as a CD box set, but they're doing it as a vinyl box set. It's actually pretty reasonably priced too for a five disc box set. Uh, pretty nice. So, lots of vinyl, lots of vinyl. Well, let me show you guys a few CDs. First off, I don't do a lot of CDs, but I love getting the autograph ex exclusives. So Bon Jovi's newest CD, I've got the Indie Autograph Exclusives. There are three different colors. There's a silver, a copper, and a gold. But yeah, these are on the website. These are limit one. But yeah, the Bon Jovi 2020 CD Autograph Exclusive. They are going for quite a bit significant. They're quite a bit uh, more money on eBay. But uh, yeah, I've got those available. Also... I guys talked to you. I talked to you guys about this eh, maybe a couple days ago on the live stream. But a buddy of mine, I really try to support local music here. A buddy of mine just put out two new local CDs: Wallace and Ladmo, Mike Kinzello presents Music Fun and Laughs. So Wallace and Ladmo was a regional show here in Phoenix, or you know, a statewide show, kind of like you know, if you're not from Arizona, it was kind of like the Bozo Show. You know, it was a children's program. Uh, Mike Candelo was, you know, the musical talent of the show, but he also did a, he did a phase six album. He had some solo albums, but this is actually quite cool because this is kind of a compilation of Candelo's Salt River Navy band. He did a couple of Beatles spoofs that are on this when he's 64 with a little help from his horse. Lovely Auntie. Let's see. Let's see. With the Ladmo Trio, backed up by the Lacords, he did some more Beatles covers. Michelle, Run for Your Life, Obese Man. Uh, there's some Christmas tracks, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. But yeah, if you are a Phoenix native, you will definitely be familiar with this. But cool because it has the Beatles tie-in. And then also something that I know absolutely squat about. This is... Uh, Eek Robertson and others. This is rare and unissued fiddle and string band music from the, what is this, 1947 to 1950. This was from a stack of unreleased acetates found. And yeah, this is all unreleased. 27 tracks. Such classics as Down Yonder, Orange Blossom Special. Texas Wagoneer, you know, so you can just, this is a hoedown in a pack, you know, ready to go hoedown. So yeah, the Bon Jovi autograph, remember Limit One, and the other two CDs, Mike Candelo, Wallace and Ladmo, and the fiddle and string band music. So yeah. Okay, so the biggest releases of this week, and I did an unboxing on these, but will be the John Coltrane and the John Coltrane Love Supreme and Ballads. Fantastic. I've heard both of these now. These are absolute must-haves. Audiophile, through it through, full package, tip-on jacket. I mean, they're fantastic. Uh, I am blowing through these things like crazy. Inventory will not last. My guess is this is going to be something that goes out of stock everywhere and will be awaiting a repress for some time. So some more Rocktober titles. The Best of John Prime. This is week two for Rocktober. This I actually thought was pretty cool. I've not actually seen the movie Outside Providence, but it's actually a pretty solid 
you know, soundtrack. Leonard Skinner, yes. Steely Dan, the Doobie Brothers, the Who, Paul McCartney. But yeah, this is on, I want to say this is a Rocktober title. I want to say this is on, let's see, orange and red vinyl. Two LP set. Stone Free, another Rocktober title, a tribute to Jimi Hendrix. Always popular. One of my absolute all-time favorite bands, Rocktober, the Talking Heads' first album on green vinyl. Includes Psycho Killer. Talking Heads, Fear of Music, another Rocktober title, Textured Sleeve. This is on silver vinyl. There is actually another sticker underneath this hype sticker, so I'm guessing they're covering something up. You can see the other barcode. I'm wondering what the other hype sticker says. So if anybody gets this and tells me what the other hype sticker says, I'd be curious. Another Rocktober title. More songs about buildings and food. And yeah, what is that? More songs about buildings and food. Yeah, that's it. On red vinyl. So, Rocktober Talking Heads. The Talking Heads stuff actually, they stopped shipping it. I haven't been able to really get Talking Heads stuff as of about six months ago. So, my guess is they kind of stopped making what was in print at the moment. And you've got the Rocktober titles. I don't know if they'll continue doing... If there's going to be new stuff coming out, I don't, even, I don't know what the deal is, but the Talking Head stuff has been getting difficult to source the last six months. New album by Future Islands. This is the non-indie exclusive Phoebe Bridges. Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe Bridgers Punisher. So this should be the standard black vinyl. I showed this a couple of weeks ago, but sold out pretty quickly. This is Fleetwood Mac, 1973 to 1974. You know, normally I wouldn't be showing you just a mid-70s Fleetwood Mac set, but this is quite nice in the fact that this is mastered from the original analog tapes. Plus, it includes a 1974 concert live from the record plant. And a bonus 7-inch single. So, yeah, anytime a manufacturer goes through the trouble of doing a box set with all analog sources, that's a good thing. All right. So, back in stock. I don't think I've had this in maybe three years. This is Coltrane Sound. This is from ORG. This is cut by Bernie Grunman. Fantastic record. I looked right before I shot this video. You know, these are going for around 100 bucks right now on Discogs because they haven't been in print for quite a few years. Uh, yeah, 45 RPM, Coltrane Sound. ORG did uh, Olay. They did, uh, they did Coltrane Jazz, Coltrane Sound, My Favorite Things. Uh, I think they did... Milk Jackson and Coltrane, you know, there's a few, Milk Jackson and Coltrane, I think was one of their titles. But yeah, this is the one that has been out of print the longest. I have not seen this in a long time, but it is back. So yeah, Coltrane Sound, fantastic. Recorded right around, let's see, this was from the same session as My Favorite Things in 1960. So if you're familiar with My Favorite Things, same exact vibe from the same session. Couple of new titles from Analog Productions. This is the 45 RPM. Doug McLeod with special guest Charlie Musel White. Very, very, very hot restock. The doors waiting for the sun. So, so far, uh, we're still waiting on represses of the other stuff. I'm sure they'll come. A lot of people are asking me, are these things out of print? They are not out of print. They are waiting represses. QRP is heavily, heavily, heavily backed up. Uh, you know, I see on Discogs, most of these titles that aren't in print right now are going for 100, 100 and quarter. Don't pay it. Wait for them to come out. Mighty Sam McLean. New Analog Productions, 45 RPM Ooh. title. Yeah, they did this as 33. They did both of these titles, I believe, as 33s. These are the 45 RPM versions. Got some more of the wonderful sounds of Christmas. Played in the store all the time. So it seemed for a while all the Neil Young stuff was going out of print. 
couldn't get any of his early stuff. But I was able to get, everybody knows there is nowhere. These like to harvest, like tonight's the night. This is all analog, cut from the original analog tapes. Very, very, very solid. You know, Neil Young does an absolute fantastic job. Definitely worth owning and it's extremely cheap for a audiophile record. All right, this has been out for a while, but I finally got back the Azuki ISO Suzuki Trio blow up. This is on my top 10 analog imprint records that you should own. This is a test record for me at this store. It is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if I've actually showed this. I probably have, but you know, Three Blind Mice was an absolute phenomenal label and you can look there on the jacket. They were fanatical about sound quality. Musicianship was fantastic as well, but they actually put all of the equipment used to record, all the microphones, all the instruments, and they actually break down the room placement. You know anybody that goes through the trouble of putting this on their record? Goes through the trouble of making a really, really good record. But Three Blind Mice, probably the best sounding records to ever come out of Japan, jazz-wise. All right, Death, Leper CLP. Now this is on the clear with neon and magenta pinwheel splattered vinyl. Devil Driver. Meet the Woo Volume 2, featuring the hit single, Shake the Room. Hmm, not heard, Shake the Room. Back in stock, all for you, Diana Krall. This is the ORG version of this record. These are numbered. ORG has done an absolute fantastic job with their cat her catalog, Preston RTI, mastered by Bernie Grunman. Two versions of her stuff in print. You want the ORG titles. They're 55 versus 35. Those are the ones to own. Back in stock after being out for a while. And I'm guessing these are really, really, really close to the end. But yeah, Legrand Jazz. This is the 45 RPM version numbered on the back to 3000 but a phenomenal album michael legrand's best i'd imagine but the who's who of the jazz world's on this thing it's miles davis john coltrane bill evans herbie mann ben webster phil woods paul chambers hank jones kenny dennis art farmer donald bird and jimmy cleveland and that's just one of the three rows of musicians that are featured on this record 31 of America's greatest jasmine. But yeah, fantastic all analog record. Restock of Diana Krall live in Paris. This is the ORG version. Again, these are numbered as well. Impex, fantastic label. They don't do many titles. This is actually one of their titles. The fabulous Johnny Cash, numbered as well. No, this one is not numbered. Got a restock on that. And I've got the Michael Legrand. This is the 33 RPM version. Another top 10 analog imprint record that you should own. Friday night in San Francisco. This is the 45 RPM version. This is number two, 3000. This is another title that I would imagine is very, very close to being out of print. Fantastic, fantastic album. Okay. Another fantastic Impex release. Tony Bennett and Brubeck. This is from like a lost tape that was found. This is the White House Sessions, live in 1962. I find myself listening more to the Brubeck version, the, the Brubeck side of this record. There's some, let's see. So there's some introduction, take five. So there's some stuff, if I recall, that is kind of some Tony Bennett with Dave Brubeck, some Tony Bennett, and then some Brubeck. I find myself listening to the Tony and Brubeck and the Brubeck, but yeah, great release, fantastic release from Impex. Patricia Barbara, Modern, cool. Now this is on her label, Premonition Records, which I believe these are all analog as well. Remaster for vinyl, record to die for, Stereophile magazine. Very popular. 
Another title from Impex, Monk Stream. This is the 33 RPM version. Another Impex title restock. Time further out, the Dave Brubeck Quartet. Fantastic record. Chasing the Dragon. There's not very many labels that are doing audio file classical records in 2020, but this is one of them. Vivaldi's Four Seasons. These are all direct cuts. But yeah, these are unbelievably good. This is a fantastic label. Let's see, let's see. State-of-the-art valve microphones were fed to a Neve desk and then via a pure analog path directly to a Neumann VMS-80 lathe. Very, very high quality. Another Impex title. Ellington Indigos. 33 RPM. And also, you know, I mentioned on the top 10 analog imprint records, you should own the blow up. There's three in the series that are just as good. This is Midnight Sugar. This is fantastic, 45 RPM. Okay. Also back in print from the top 10 analog imprint rock records you should own is the Cranberries. Everybody else is doing it, so why can't we? Fantastic 90s analog sound there. Casey Musgrave's Christmas record. This is the part of the year where we are getting all of the Christmas records. There is a new Linkin Park box set for Hybrid Theory. Let's see, Hybrid Theory, Linkin Park Reanimation, and the Linkin Park B-Sides and Rarities. It feels like it's almost four discs. All right, the Bangles Gold, the greatest hits. This has got to be a fantastic record because it's got Picard on the front, right? It's Star Trek. The soundtrack for the CBS hit show, exclusively on CBS All Access, which I subscribe to, and it's kind of a bummer. The only reason I subscribe to that is for Star Trek. I'm a Star Trek fan myself. But uh, it's kind of a bummer because you pay in for CBS All Access for 12, 13 weeks of shows. And this year, unfortunately, I forgot to cancel it, which I did last year for Discovery Season 1. But this was, I thought, a fantastic show. So if you're home, got some time, you're a Star Trek fan, you probably have seen it already. But yeah. Flume, Deluxe Edition. Okay, so this is Dire Straits, the studio albums. So essentially you have the six studio albums. I want to say these are using the same masters that Bernie Grunman used to cut, but I'm going to have to go, after I uh, finish shooting this video, I'm going to go take a look. I'm hoping they were using the Bernie Grunman masters. That would be the right choice for this particular box set. Those Bernie Grunman 33 RPMs are fantastic. I sell tons of the import versions of those on the website. The imports are nice. They're nice and clean. They're a back on black pressing. The American versions, I want to say, were probably pressed on rainbow and they were on horrendously noisy vinyl. I never was able to find a clean version of the self-titled album. John Lennon, give me some truth. This is a 4LP uh, Greatest Hits box set. They do a double disc of it that I am already sold out on pre-orders. The other half of my order came damaged, so... I don't have that to show you, but yeah, 33, 36 songs completely remixed, not remastered, remixed. They went to the original multi-tracks and they created a brand new mix. So I am curious to hear that John Lennon was never recorded exceptionally well. Most of his stuff was recorded at his house. And it was always to me a little bit muddy and, you know, definitely not audiophile. King Diamond, the eye. This is on purple and black marble. This is, I believe this is the indie exclusive for the Avit Brothers. This includes a poster. So now I'll show you this. Okay, so the new Morrison Hotel box set. This is the, I believe this is the 50th anniversary 
of Morrison Hotel. This includes an LP and one, two CD. So you essentially have the album. You have CD one, which is original stereo mix remastered. So this is the original stereo mix on CD. But CD2 essentially is what you are paying for with this. And that is, let me see, a bunch of session music. So you're getting a lot of unreleased outtakes, multiple session, you know, multiple cuts of Roadhouse Blues, Money, That's What I Want, Rock Me Baby. I'm a huge Doors fan, probably my favorite band of all time. I'm going to have to have this just for CD2. I've showed you guys this and I've not been able to keep it in stock. Grant Green Sunday Morning, absolute fantastic album. This is essentially the equivalent of a tone poet. All Kevin Gray cut, analog, mastered from the original reel to reel. Stouting tip on jacket. Really, really, really fantastic album musically as well. So this is interesting. I'm a big fan. I know it's kind of weird, but I dig Sh William Shatner's albums. This is him doing blues, but you know, his holiday record, he did a, his original Transform Man, I think it's fantastic. It's kind of, it's like avant-garde rock and roll, but I'll be giving this a listen to William Shatner, the blues. So this is the yellow version of Danzig Sings Elvis. I've not heard this, but I've heard it's actually pretty good. But yeah, you know, Danzig from the Misfits. What's new, Tomboy, by Damien Gerardo. This is on Quartz. Vinyl cut at 45 RPM. Okay, so Death, Spiritual Healing. This is another Splatter Wax Custom spit Pinwheel with Splatter Edition. Okay, so these, I saved them for last because these are actually quite unique. So, these are the newest, I imported these from Japan. This is Dave Brubeck. This is part of the Analog Jazz Legendary Collection. What is unique about these is, actually it's not this particular one, but they are all completely like, they really fanatically like replicated these covers. So this, yeah, it looks like a, I'm checking because on Someday My Prince Will Come, you can see this is like a full, they're really into knocking off the originals. But you can see this is a straight tip on jacket made the exact way that the original was made. You know, it's not glossy like the modern vinyl version, but these are completely cut, mastered. You know, Japan, the Japan, Japanese are actually making vinyl again and they're doing their, for a while, like we were sending them records and they were slapping obis on them and they were selling them as Japanese discs. But this is a true Japanese pressed, mastered, through and through. I want to say these are from high resolution files. I think I saw a blurb on this 24 bit 192. But yeah, they've done a few in the series. Someday My Prince Will Come. They did Dave Brubeck's Time Out, which I actually kept this in case I ever update my Brubeck shootout. They did a stereo and a mono version of Miles Davis's Kind of Blue. I kept both of these as well. And probably one of the better titles they did, because it's not a record you see, Bill Evans Live in Tokyo with Eddie Gomez. Fantastic record. But yeah. So I've got some of those in from Japan. But yeah, there is a ton of stuff this week. Again, all this stuff can be purchased online at our website at www.theingroove. That's it for this week's guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time.